If you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know that a lot of the videos I create are based on questions we get asked in our support channel. And this one is no different. So what's the question? Well, it's about a pretty advanced view in Drupal 9. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And here's the scenario the person posed to us. I have a content type staff member with fields of photo, department, title, first name, last name, phone, email, department head, which is a Boolean. And he wants to have a staff page view that lists all of the staff members with all of the fields by the field department grouped in an accordion. Inside each accordion, the department head should float to the top and the rest should be sorted alphabetically. I want to use views for this. Am I on the right track? Well, the answer is absolutely. You're on the right track. We need a couple of modules, but it's not that complex a view after all. Let's dive in. All right, so here I am on the finished product. And as I mentioned, we need a couple of modules. We need the jQuery UI accordion module, which the person actually identified in their question. In order to get this to work, we need the jQuery UI, but we do need one more module other than that, and we need the views accordion module. That's what's going to give us the actual accordion display inside of Drupal. It requires the jQuery UI accordion, and as you can see here in Drupal 9, jQuery UI was removed from core, so that's why we need the jQuery UI accordion. When you take a look at the accordion page, you're going to scroll down here and see that this module hasn't been updated in quite a while. They're looking for some co-maintainers, but as of the date of this recording, it works just fine. So you'll install all three of those modules, and then the view becomes pretty simple after that. I'm going to go ahead and edit the view. So here's the view. It's a page view. The format is jQuery UI accordion which is a new format given once we add that module. Once you select the jQuery UI accordion, you need to decide how it's grouped. Now you can't actually do this until you add your fields. And you can't use this using a teaser display. The teaser display doesn't include the option to group on a particular field. So you have to use fields. So I went ahead and added all the fields that the user specified. The title, department head, staff department, which is hidden, but is required in order to group the accordion. First name, last name, email, and phone I added, but I hid them all because I included them in the title field. I'll show you that in just a moment. The body, and then of course the staff photo. Scrolling down to our preview, that's what it looks like here. The filter is published staff members and the filter is staff department head. One of the requirements, as you know, bring the head of the department up to the top. That's a Boolean field, and that's why it's listed here and then hidden. And then last name ascending gives everybody after that. So once you've had your fields, then you can click on the settings for the JUI accordion. The grouping is by staff department. I also used it to render the output of the group rows. Use the group header as the accordion header. That gives it the name. There's no second level grouping. Uh, I made it collapsible. And I made it with nothing open at the beginning. Swing effect with a 300 millisecond animation time. And I made it appear on click. All right. So then I just rearranged the fields in the order that I needed them. Obviously, the person's title is their name. Even though there's a first and last name field, we hide those because we want to sort by last name. And of course, title is by first name. So that's why we do that. The department head is listed. And so here down in my quick little preview, you'll see the word department head next to my name, which again is a Boolean field in the content type. And then first and last name are hidden, the body field, email and phone are hidden, staff photo shows up. And then in the staff title, all I did was rewrite the results with the fields that had already been listed. And you can do that with replacement patterns that are listed below. That's a nice little trick in views I really like. 
Obviously, I've not added any CSS at all to this view, so it's not exactly perfect, but it gets us 99% of the way. So once again, if I look at it on my site and I click on web, there's me with an H3 tag, and it's linked to my profile. The fact that I'm a department head, there's my bio, my picture, and there's the three fields combined, the title, the phone field, and the email field, both of which are clickable. And then Fred Johnson and Sue Lubber in alphabetical order by last name. So there we have it. Not exactly straightforward, but not that difficult either. We add a couple of modules to give us the display that we need, the formatting we need, the dropdown that we have, and then we just organize our fields appropriately, grouping them on staff heading and making sure department head floats to the top based on the Boolean output that it provides. Well, thanks for joining me today. My name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. We release a new video every week. We'd love to have you subscribe. Hey, like the video and tell your friends. <laughs> We'd appreciate it. We'll see you next time.